Well, if you've ever wondered about budget traction boards, Vic Off-Road sent me a pair of these bunker traction, traction boards, which I'm gonna be taking out on a camping trip to Anza Borrego today. So let's open these guys up and see what's in the box. All right, so what I got here is it looks like a carrying case. Throw those guys in there. There's a pair of two here. A stabilization stamp. That's pretty cool. And then these leashes that you can tie onto them just in case they get stuck uh, in the sand or the mud or whatnot. So let's load these things up and let's go camping. Well, I think that carrying case is a pretty nice touch. I don't know how much I'll actually use it though, because I can imagine by the end of this weekend, it's gonna be pretty dirty. So I may just be throwing them in the back of the truck. Uh, with that being said, let's hit the road. So, we're in the middle of Anza Borrego, and like I said in the beginning, we are gonna give a little test run to these bunker traction boards. Now, if you've been following the channel, I don't do a lot of heavy off-roading. I do like to go camping, I like to get off the grid, and so I don't get stuck very often, but it always can happen. And so, it is important to carry recovery equipment like traction boards. Uh, this whole trip, so we've been out here for a couple days now, and I haven't gotten stuck on this, this trip, but right now, we're gonna go put the truck into two-wheel drive, and we're gonna go get stuck and see how these traction boards work. If they're unable to get us out of our situation, we do have some other uh, recovery equipment and some other vehicles here that can get me out safely, but let's go give it a try. Now I could definitely put this in four wheel drive right now, or maybe even turn on my locker and get out of this, no problem. But this video is not about how capable my truck is, it's about how well these traction boards work for a situation like this. So let's get digging. Okay, so like I said earlier, these do come with a stability sand and they do come with the straps just in case these get too deep. Now the sand's not too deep over here, so I'm not too worried about that. I'm just gonna use the traction boards. So since it's in two wheel drive, what I'm gonna do is just obviously focus on the back tire, dig out a spot to shove these traction boards in, in front of the tires to try to give me some tread to move on to. Let's see if it works. So I gotta be honest, this is my first time using traction boards. I've never had to use them before. So let's see how they work. Let's go to the other side. Okay, so I got the traction boards in on both sides. I'm gonna keep it in two wheel drive and see if I can get going. And if I can, I'm gonna try to keep up my momentum, my mom, my momentum so I don't get stuck again. Sand there, bro. Yep. 
All right, so now I know what the straps are for. Um, these things got buried really quick. And so, like I said, this is my first time using traction boards. The good thing is I was able to put the truck into uh, four low and put my uh, rear locker on and it popped right out. So uh, we're gonna try these guys again and I'm gonna attach the straps to them this, this time just in case they get buried again. All right, so what saved me last time was my rear locker. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna put the truck into four wheel drive to make sure I'm truly stuck. And since we're in some soft sand on an incline, I think four wheel drive and the traction boards need to work together. Maybe if you don't have a rear locker, the traction boards might be something that will work. And maybe in conjunction with all three of those things, it may be even a better situation. And so uh, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put the truck in four wheel drive and see if we're really stuck. So in the, in the situation we're in right now, going in reverse is kind of easy because I've got gravity working with me. And so I think to really put these guys to the test, we're gonna only go forward. Um, so I am stuck four wheel low going forward and we're just gonna imagine a situation where I've got no choice and I can't go backwards. So uh, right now I'm gonna get out, put the traction boards in and see if they can help us get out. Now coming out of this, I'm gonna have to watch this hill. Make sure I don't slide this way. I think that should be good. There's only one way to find out. So as you guys can see, the traction boards on that last attempt did get me out of that situation. I was able to pull forward in four low. Now, the first time I did get out just fine with my rear locker after I had buried the traction boards, but not everyone's got a rear locker and a rear locker is not going to get you out of every situation. So it's really important that you have more tools in your tool belt to get you out of a situation when you're out like in a place like this. So for those of you that have been following the channel, you know I'm by no means an expert off-roader. Um, I'm just a guy that loves to go camping in some places that are kind of remote sometimes. And so it's important for me to feel confident in the equipment that I have. Now, Vic Off-Road did send me these and I'll link them in the description for you guys. They also gave me permission to use these as vigorous, as hard, as, as hard as I could. Now, I'm not gonna do a torture test on these because I wanna keep them. I feel that Vic is pretty confident in their product by making a statement like that to me. And I did think about doing a little torture test with them, but I'm not gonna do that today. What I like to do on my channel is show you guys me using and trying products in the ways that I would actually use them. And that's what I think I did today. Now, like I said earlier, I don't have to do this very often. I don't get stuck very often, but those things are gonna be coming with me every single time I hit the trail from here on out. So thanks for watching you guys. I hope to see you out, out there. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and hit subscribe if you wanna hang out again. Now, we're gonna go finish up this weekend adventure. Um, if you guys wanna see more of that, I'll make sure that I link that in the video description when uh, it comes out this video will probably come out before that but make sure you're subscribed and we'll see you guys in the next one